To me, justice is when a negative action or situation has an appropriate reaction. What is considered appropriate is unfortunately completely up to the culture. Now, if it were up to me, there would be fewer things that would be considered crimes. We have way too high of a percentage of our population in prison. To me, the purpose of promoting justice is primarily about trying to make sure that we can keep our society from turning into Lord of the Flies, or like some anarcho-capitalist libertarian dystopia. I think a lot of our laws are totally messed up. There is no type of justice that can actually occur when people are put in prison for victimless crimes. To me, the entire notion of a victimless crime is outrageous. If it's about self-harm, that should be treated as a medical issue or a mental health issue, not a criminal one. I believe that the only kind of death penalty should not actually be a penalty, but should be a choice the people convicted of a crime with a life sentence should be allowed to choose at any time if they do not want to spend literally the remainder of their lives in prison. And if they choose this, I think it should be carried out via a drug overdose of something that makes them feel good, and not this barbaric stuff we see with typical lethal injections, where if it's not done exactly right, the person dies in absolute agony but can't really show it in their movements because of the other drugs. Death is bad enough without making it something of agony and misery. To me, how we treat prisoners says a lot about what we will allow in our society in general. It shows how low we are willing to treat other fellow human beings even in the same country in which we reside. We can see similar things about our society in the way that we treat homeless people. We can see it in the way we treat those with mental disorders. To me, that is the point in which we see some people treat others as if they aren't even human. When people treat others as if they aren't even another animal that has any sort of worth, like an unwanted pest to squish, almost like a cockroach. It is very easy to get into that feeling of wanting to get revenge on people, even if they never did anything to us personally. We can easily take everything we currently hate and home it in on a person, on an ideology, on a religion, on a company, on a government, on a situation, and put the blame of everything bad we feel onto whatever it is. That blame is fueled with a desire to get revenge on everything we feel bad about in our lives. So it's easy to understand why some people resort to stating that rapists should be castrated, that murderers should be put to death, that terrible things should happen to those who have done terrible things to others. It makes many people feel good to see the people suffering who have caused suffering to others. But this whole thing is so very primal. In a very negative way, it is the closest we become to being feral when living in a complex society with many rules. I must say, though, there are some people who just should not be returned back into society. Rapists who prove that they will not stop raping people. Murderers who prove that they will not stop killing people. These people need to be separated from society unless there's some current unknown method for rehabilitating them that maybe we'll find in the near future. Someone stole a candy bar? Pay a small fine or something, or maybe have them stand outside with a sign for a couple hours that reads, I stole a candy bar from this store. But to go further than that would be totally unnecessary. I'm definitely glad that I don't live in the Middle East. Whatever it is, rehabilitate if possible, and if it's not possible, and it's also not possible to make the problem they have manageable, and it's a serious issue that can hurt people, then they get to live separate from the rest of society. But we can't treat them like crap in prison, nor allow prison culture to make them worse people than they were. I guess I'm not really sure what more to say. Ooh.